good rising it's been been a little grippy dip um i wanted to talk today about the the shadow the golden shadow if you will actually um i am running a 21 day challenge 22 day challenge we're on day 21 today on my website garytalks.com i have a website now y'all there's so many updates i have made a commitment to recording videos i realize i have to schedule them i need to be like in my heart committed and being like yes i'm going to do this you know not like yeah it's something that i i'm gonna do that (laughs) and like making a list of why and like i'm working on i'm working on integrating this as a practice because i love it I, i do really enjoy sharing my thoughts on youtube um, and sharing my thoughts and connecting with people and you co- you, when you comment and I read them and I'm like, yo, people really, yes, thank you for sharing because I just be talking, it's funny to talk to myself. I've done it for so many years. Now. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you for responding. Um, I am Gary Talks, I guess I should say that. Hello, I am Gary Talks. Um, I'm thinking about the golden shadow, running this challenge on my website, 22 days, it's a series of questions. If you, if anybody's ever done um, Deepak Chopra's 21 Day Abundance Challenge, it's um, I, that's where the idea was inspired from, or the format of it was at least. Um, this idea of sending a daily thing to do. His is a meditation about abundance, um, and you complete 21 days in a group. And so, I'm going for a similar vibe. It's a little different for sure. It's on a forum, for instance, and it's 22 days and it is a shadow work challenge so there's a question for reflection and then there is a task to do and then a comment to leave on the forum i I, this is my first one so like so the people who are doing it now i'm so grateful for them um and we have a next session starting august 8th on the new moon it's a sunday and it's like self-led so i post the prompts every day and you have the agency and choice to do however you do with that, right? Like, it's not it's not that you have to blaze through it or keep up. If you want to keep up, keep up. It's excellent to do it every day. Also, like, shadow work brings up a lot of things. Also, I'm saying this word shadow work a lot, right? What is shadow work? We're two minutes in the video and you, you, you <laughs> ain't even talking about the thing yet. So, shadow work. So, the shadow is a concept coined by, a psychological concept coined by a psychologist Carl Jung. Um... Uh, and it, it refers to it refers to like our unconscious mind the parts of us that operate in the dark like without us knowing right right now it's funny because i'm sitting here i'm looking at my shadow and you can see shadows cast on you know like it's what is cast when you shine light on something there's a shadow yeah ha- i think there's a quote he has which is like how can if i like how could i not have a shadow if i'm substantial if i'm a thing of substance that has mass like it casts a shadow you know so it's literally like behind us the thing that we don't really tend to notice um if we want to use the that actual shadow metaphor um psychologically and emotionally it tends to speak to our wounds right like the ways that we were conditioned to seek approval and safety it And in order to ensure that safety growing up, so safety being like your parents approving of you and loving you and not beating you and not yelling at you and being caring and, you know, just liking particular, you know, parents always talking about good and bad. The world always talking about good and bad. So what your parents, school, pastor, whoever was really relevant in your development of your value system, the things that they approved of would be in your light, mostly, right? The things that you're aware of, the things that you strive for and the things that they didn't like and if you agreed with it or you know you you were i don't want to say willing but you made the exchange of taking the, of accepting their approval that you would repress the thing right so here's an example um if you are if you are a really rambunctious kid like if you always spoke your mind and you always got beat for it you might not do that when you get older <laughs> right you might be like you might be quiet about your your thoughts or if every time you shared somebody would um laugh at you or for instance if you cried and people laughed at you you probably don't really want to cry you probably have feelings around crying you know um and it tends to talk about the places that we are hurt that's when we think think about the shadow a lot um and if you think about light as awareness it's like you're what it, it, what exists in your awareness you're you know right like i know i enjoy communication i know i value connection i know i 
am attractive physically. I appreciate my face, right? There's like things you can know, but then even in the things you know, they can be attached to a thing. So even like the last thing when I said it, I was like, oh, but attached to acknowledging that I'm attractive, I'm afraid of being arrogant, right? And so it's interesting, this concept of the shadow, how it, how it limits you, how it plays with you. And there's this quote that I loved from Carl Jung, which is until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. So to me, when I hear that, I'll say it one more time. Until you make the unconscious conscious, it will direct your life and you will call it fate. When I hear that, I'm thinking about how there's things that operate in the shadows. There's things that are present that you may not know about, that you don't even see, but they are there. And until you are aware of them, they are going to continue to direct what you are doing and influence what you're doing. And you're not going to know the difference between your choice of doing a thing and that thing's influence on it. Does that make sense? I hope it does, because that's what just came through clear for me. Um, and so... I'm thinking about the golden shadow today because I had a dream last night that involved me being very alluring and got me out of a situation. These people were trying, it was a very violent dream actually. People were trying to kill me. They had actually killed most people in the, the uh, abode, the residence I was in. And the only reason they didn't kill me is because of my gab. I was talking to them, appealing to their pathos, like their, their feelings, you know, they're like, um, humanity and like you don't really want to do this type thing but also like it was weird because I'm not you I don't always feel like that kind of person I don't feel like I maybe I do feel like I could get my way out of those kinds of situations but upon waking up I was definitely like whoa that was a really interesting dream and I felt like oh that's cool and I told my friend about it and it's funny because he then started pressing me about um about my allure right and playing into like talking to people and not doing what I did in the dream, right? The dream was literally about me speaking and influencing to save myself. But then thinking about, oh, like influencing people and actively, that brings up feelings for me around manipulation, right? Being manipulated, being perceived as manipulative. What would, how do I feel about people perceiving me in that way? Like, oh, there's feelings there, right? And I say, and this is bringing me to this concept of the golden shadow because as a person who does workshops and is seeking to hold community spaces and gather human beings, I need to be bold enough to be able to approach people and put my influence in their sphere. If I want you to come to my thing, I am trying to influence you, right? And that's why I, I feel like it's it, what creates resistance for me is like the way that these terms are used large, like so, like a social influence or what IG influencer, right? Like people who, but that's what they're doing, right? They're directing people's flow in particular ways. And that's what we all do. We all influence constantly. We're constantly influencing and being influenced. That's literally how it works. We are relational. So to, to not want to do that doesn't make sense. Like literally it's like trying to not exist, which is something I've used to do too. Like it, you can't, it, it creates a lot of tension. It, it creates a lot of tension when you're trying to not trying to not because if it is then it is I don't want to get too far into just like sometimes I feel like sometimes I feel like the simplest truths are said in very simple words and it just like if you say it is what it is you didn't really say a lot but (laughs) you said a lot you get what I'm saying um so yeah when I think about um the golden shadow I think about the parts of ourselves that we held away from ourselves and for me what's coming up and why I feel this way uh is definitely because when I was a kid sexuality was not something we talked about in the house like it was actually very much repressed and like I didn't date until I was 17 um where he was my first partner and first like first sexual partner first romantic partner first boyfriend and like um yeah in any kind of intimate partnership because my family was not about that and it's funny how parents think i don't you know we could get into that that's a whole piece that we could talk about about parents um, not wanting people to do things and then that means that we have no tools around how to do the thing afterwards it's not like you know so now i'm weird about i've been weird about talking to people like approaching somebody in a friendly in a friendly way or in a romantic way and especially in a romantic or sexual way 
it can be very strange for me. Like, I don't understand the concept of pulling up on people in the street and being like, yo, give me your number. <laughs> also, because I don't like that being done to me, right? So, um, but thinking about if I do spend more time with my charm, right? Spend more time with, like, how, not only, like, how people perceive me, but also how, what energy do I put out? Because I do, I'm aware of, like, I'm aware of the energy that I put out, but I try to deny Right, and this is part of the shadow. Try to deny the parts of it that are sexual or um, sensual, especially sensual. I've been leaning more into sensuality because things I realize I have stuff around sexuality. I'm like, I don't think want things to be explicitly sexual all the time. Pornographic, as Audrey Lord would say, I'm into the erotic. I want, I, I'm trying to embrace that more and being more, just being okay with being seen as soft and sensual and curvy. Because like, I, I. I was gonna say I promise you but like I really when I was a kid like we really were not allowed to even like sway our hips they would tell us to dance and then ridicule us <laughs> like oh look at you like what the uh who you think but you asked me to come dance to this banging ass music um so I'm integrating those things which is why dancing for me was also a really huge thing when I was doing that but that's neither here nor there <laughs> I will work on making my videos more streamlined, I suppose. I feel like people come to YouTube largely to learn a thing. I'm curious, what what are you here for? <laughs> um, me leaning into my charm. <laughs> uh, that's all I got for y'all today. Hope that was clear. Embrace your shadows. Like... Obviously, if I'm thinking about leaving y'all with things, the questions I would have are like, what are what is something that you would never do, right? And it can you can make a list of two things. It could be like good things you never do and bad things you never do, right? So like, I would never kill somebody, right? I would never rob a bank. I would never, um, I don't know, cut down a tree. You know, put those things down, and then things like that are that are like. Maybe I could never, right? So I would never would be the bad list and I could never would be the, the, good, the good list, right? So like, I could never go skydiving. I could never be a billionaire. I want, and I would love to hear what y'all got. If you want to send them to me, my email is info at garytalks.com and I'll put all this info down below. Much appreciation to you. <laughs>